to share their earliest memories of their family and their generations in South Brunswick and their best memories of the township. Well, uh, I came out here in uh, about 1932. I was about 13 then. But Millie was born here, so perhaps she ought to start. Fine. Go ahead. My father bought the property on Davison Mills Road in 1914. Um, he paid about $300 for three acres. <laughs> and uh, it was very, what we would now call primitive. We had no electricity, no indoor plumbing, no water in the house, and uh, no central heating, of course. Uh, we had a, uh, a large coal stove in the kitchen, was the center of everything. We had flat irons on top of there that we used for ironing, and uh, water always boiling, that's where we took our baths, and uh, we had, um, uh, when my mother had, she had chickens, and when they became setting hens, and they she had eggs, and then when the chicken, the mother chicken did not want to take care of the baby chicks, she brought them upstairs, we had a warming section of the coal stove, and she used to put the little ducks and the chicks in the warming section, mm -hmm. you know, and took care of them. Uh, life was pretty hard. My mother worked very, very hard, so did my father. Uh, when my father first moved there, uh, it was a wooded area, and we were right next to the trolley car, right next to the trolley track that ran from Trenton to what, Elizabeth, or no, uh, New to, Brunswick or something, yeah, anyway. To, to New Brunswick, I mean. uh, It was called the Fist and he, Line. And he, <laughs> he, uh, that was what it was really called. Let me, let me, you know, we were in Maine and there was a museum of uh, old trolley cars and all this, and we thought the Fast Line was something sarcastic, but it wasn't. It was called the Fast Line, it was written on it. Mm -hmm. That was, that was amazing. <laughs> Go ahead. Anyway, my, my uh, father started what he called the Middlesex Timber Company. He used to get uh, logs for, uh, uh, I guess, telephone poles, and railroad, I don't know, railroad ties, ties uh, that kind of thing. He did that for quite a while until it just, you know, that was used, up, the lumber. All, used up all the lumber. And, uh, and it wasn't until uh, the early 1940s where every, uh, everybody who had a piece of land built chicken coops mm -hmm. and started raising chickens. I went to the one-room schoolhouse in Fresh Ponds. I walked from home about a mile and a half and a mile and a half back. I was only five years old. Dirt Road, Millie? Huh? Dirt Road? Dirt Road. We had Dirt Road. We had a Dirt Road uh, up to where the bridge is now, the Farrington Lake Bridge. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was not cut through until Dean's School was built, and then that, then it cut through to Georgia uh, to uh, 130. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we had to leave Davidson Mills Road, we had to go on Riva Avenue either to the right to Church Lane in near Milton near uh, East Brunswick, or to the left, you know, uh, by the old mill. By the old mill. Where the, the Werner Mill. The Werner Mill. Well, even before the Werner Mill. Okay. <laughs> and um, I went to, there were five, originally that one room schoolhouse had eight grades, but uh, when the Dayton school was up, they took everyone from the sixth grade on to go to Dayton. So there were still five classes in that one room schoolhouse. How many teachers? One. One teacher. One How teacher. many kids? That's very few. <laughs> very few. Do you re did you know Ruth Reed? No, I didn't. She was a Griggs. She used to be Ruth Griggs. Uh, no. Knew the Griggses, but I... Anyway, she was my teacher. Huh. She was a teacher when I was there. And then when the Dean School was built, we... Uh, you better... <laughs> this is the... Uh, He'll be on the tape, but... <laughs> well, I, I'll put him in the other room. Uh, shut it off for a minute. I'll take him out and put him... And when the school, when the school was built, then I went there. I think I went to the one-room schoolhouse maybe for two years. 
know, first grade about it. Maybe I should I mentioned it. I didn't speak English. Mm -hmm. And so I sat there. And when the report cards came out, I went home crying to my mother. Everyone got a, a, a card. And she was very annoyed. Mm -hmm. She went to school the next day with me and asked the teacher why I didn't get a report card. And the teacher says, I haven't heard her say one word. She says, well, what do you expect? She doesn't speak English. <laughs> but just sitting there without a remedial teacher, without a bilingual teacher, I learned to speak English. <laughs> just sitting there in the class for a couple of years, for a month, because the following month I got a report card. Good, good. And your teacher there was the same one, or? Well, we had... Ruth Reed was the last teacher I remember, that I remember. <laughs> She's from uh, that school. And is that the school that is now the temple? No, no. no. That's the school that's right near the church at the corner of Fresh Ponds and Davidson Mills okay. Road. Okay, all right. Okay. You know that little building that's right next to that old church? Right, right. Okay. That's it. That was it. It's still there. The, you, the church uses it. You know, but that's the that's the building. Mm -hmm. We had an outhouse out there, uh -huh. and uh, we had one at home too. So that was no big no problem. problem. That's where you used to. That's where you used to do your homework. Yeah. <laughs> used to be Fanny had an apple. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, what else can I tell you that? Uh, oh, and you know. The trolley was very convenient. My mother would hop on the trolley and go to New Brunswick, and uh, we owe it, we had what they called peddlers. Mm -hmm. There was a there was a man who came around with a horse and wagon with ice cream. There which was always, a man who which came always around, had horse hairs in it. Who, there was a man who came around with uh, uh, stale bread and cake. There was a man who came around with yard goods material. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was someone who came around sharpening knives and scissors, and it, it really. And did was you have you had a, somebody came with ice? Ice, ice man. Yeah. Mr. Dasher was that? What was that? I think it was Mr. Dasher. Someone told us in Dean's used to be the ice man. Could be. No, Mr. Steinackle. Mr. Steinackle's brother, uh, father. Uh huh. I don't know if you remember Mr. Steinackle, but he. No. He didn't know. No. And he had a bread man. And you know the boys, he had a big family, six, about six children. What? He had a bread man came to the door? Yes. A milk man? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, we didn't have a milk man. We had cows. You had your own. Mm -hmm. I told about your, your mother and the, and the cow dealer, how she used to deal with it. No. <laughs> anyway, the, the life, was, life was pretty hard. Mm -hmm. It was cold. We had no heat upstairs at all except for that coal stove. We did have a parlor stove in the living room. And uh, when, I, uh, when we went to bed at night, we had to prepare everything we were going to wear in the morning. And we had large feather beds. And uh, we would get up in a hurry and run down to the, and dress in front of the coal stove. Know the feeling. <laughs> you know the feeling. Yes. Yeah, my grandmother lived with us for about 25 or so years, and when when the, my mother, when we had duck or, or goose or something, she would strip, you know how you strip the, mm -hmm. the, and she made the down pillows and the down comforter. Uh, what else can I say? You went to high school where? When I went to Dean's school, Miss Pittner was our teacher. That is the name I know. And there were two grades, seventh and eighth grade. And only eight of us graduated from eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And I went to uh, junior high, Roosevelt Junior High in New Brunswick. I was completely lost because the only other one who went with me was Alex Bakuda. <laughs> And he only never two, he never showed up church, right? <laughs> I mean, By the uh, way, there was an Anthony Santawasa in that class. Yes, my father. Yes. Who was it? My father. You sure that was your father? Yep. Mm -hmm. See, small world, Millie. I have a picture of him somewhere. So. Really? Yes. Um, 
I have a the trolley to New Brunswick? No. To school? We went on the bus. Yeah. Went on the bus. yeah. I think small, Sid Smalley. Sid Smalley. Oh, that was after Oh, Dye, or Mr. So. Dye. Or, yeah. That's right, Harvey Dye. Okay. And then it was Sid Smalley. And uh, uh, I was lost because, you know, uh, at the high school level, you're going from each subject is in a different room. And here we have two classes in Dean's school. You know, and it, 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 I was lost all through high school <laughs> and junior high. <laughs> Never adjusted. Huh? You didn't adjust. Didn't no, because as a commuter, I couldn't take part into anything. When I got to the high schools, the senior high school, you can't take part because you're a commuter. You know, and you uh, just have to leave. And uh, there was no, uh, it wasn't the most exciting place in the world. And then you take the train back or the tra trolley? No, the bus picked us the up. Bus? The bus picked us up. He had a big, he had a big route, that bus. You know, he used to come yeah, down. I used to go to uh, high school on the same, on the same bus. Oh, but that was, uh, yeah, but, well, the couple, didn't I go with you, you with me the last year, you, my last year in high school, weren't you? I you, guess. You, you, you started, yes. you on the bus. Uh, I don't know. Well, you know tell it was it was it was a very very difficult. When did you get electricity in the house? When I was about thirteen or fourteen. That the only reason was not just because of us, but they didn't run the electricity down the road at all. No. And then when, and then when they put the outhouse in the house, your grandmother didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, my mother worked very extremely hard. My mother had never seen a cow until she came to Davidson Mills. And she really worked hard. She, in Europe, she saw no cows, and she came from, went to New York City, and that's where she was before she got married. And uh, she just never had never, uh, had never seen a cow. My mother came from Austria, my father came here from France. Um, they, uh, my mother would get, my mother would, she sewed all our clothes for us, all, we were three girls, so she sewed all our dresses, we never had hand-me-downs, like some of my friends in the neighborhood had, because mm -hmm. there were just, there just wasn't that much money, mm -hmm. and, uh, she, uh, she would go to bed quite early, get up about two or three in the morning and sew and then she would take her cow the cows out so that they would have to in the green pasture so that she would have a good amount of milk mm -hmm. and she made cottage cheese and sour cream and butter mm -hmm. and that was a that was a big job churning butter every every week every couple of days. You forgot, it was interesting when she was bringing... Uh, I just wanted to point out when she, she was del delivering uh, her uh, dairy and, and eggs uh, to New Brunswick, you know, with on, on the trolley. Mm -hmm. well, one of her customers was uh, Mrs. Hall of the Hall's Mill the mm -hmm. murder. murder case. Yeah. Really? So she, she, one of her customers was uh, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, that's history. Yeah. Hall's murder is back in the papers. Even. Yeah. They just had a play a couple months ago. Right. We went uh -huh. so. Did you? We just saw a play a couple months ago of the Hall's uh, Mill murder yeah. case. Yeah. Now, how old were your parents when they came from Europe? When they came to Europe? I, I, I think my father was in his early 20s or late, maybe a little bit late 20s. Mm -hmm. My mother was maybe uh, about 17 or 18 or 19, something in there. She came to New York. Now, did their parents? I, I, you know, unfortunately, when you're young, I asked very few questions. And my parents never talked very little about life in Europe. We hear Very this. Little. We hear this everywhere. Yeah, I, you know, I don't understand that. I guess they were just, uh, it, they were I, Americans. Huh? They were they, happy to be here they and that was happy it. happy to be here. <laughs> uh, 
uh, you know, when my father died, he was only 57. So, uh, and my mother ran the farm by herself for about 25 years. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, um, and my sisters were still in high school when he died, so, you know, she had quite a time. But the, the, um, I just never, uh, Were your you know, sisters younger or older? Younger. 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 She's the oldest. Yeah. I'm the oldest. Uh, well, are we up to where you met Dave? Well, you know, uh, Abe Dobin, who lived next door, who lived at, they were, we lived next door to him, um, was a representative or an agent for the Jewish Agricultural Society, Society in New York. Mm -hmm. And what happened when people came from Europe, I, I assume, I'm just guessing, maybe that's how my father found out. I can't understand how he found Davis and Mills. But uh, that they, they uh, placed people on the farms, not necessarily chicken farms, but when the, uh, the, when the, when the World War II started, no, in 1938, when all the mm -hmm. uh, German people came over, uh, they, he placed them all on the chicken farms. They were placed also on the chicken farms. But anyway, that, that organization had a youth group that they called Rural Youth Association, RYA. And Abe's sister Sophie... Sophie is the teacher. Yes. The school. Yeah, and Abe's sister Sophie thought it would be a good idea if she got the, a group together, you know, for the, uh, that organization. And that's how I met them. In that group. Yeah, we used to we used to go to the beach together and you know meet at each other's homes. You know, there were there were. Uh, so we got to be friendly. That's nice. That's that nice. Was, uh, so you were married and you settled here. No, no. no, I can I can take it from we we came out I think around 1932 and uh, we built. Uh, we built a small cottage here. This house has been, a, you know, this room has been added on, and we've added a, you know, the attic has been turned into a, into another bedroom. Added, we have a few rooms on this, but anyway, it's, it's a larger house. But uh, I came out here; I was just ready to go to high school, so uh, I, I was commuting on Dye's bus to high school, and uh, we. Uh, that was a dirt road in front of us, and I remember Mr. Uh, Henry Von Thun used to live across the street, and he's in charge of the road in the snow. And I recall working for Henry. He was there's a there's a hill over there, and the snowbank had filled filled up the hill to about 12 feet high. And I remember shoveling snow, going down my neck and onto his <laughs> wagon and horses, and he'd pull away and dump it somewhere and come back. And so it was a it was a lot more rural than it is now. That's an understatement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we don't like taking our uh, and, uh, town away. My father, my father had uh, used to keep a couple cows, uh, for also for cream and sour cream and and uh, cheese, and he'd uh, he'd sell. And he worked. He used to work at the. Uh, in, in uh, Hydestown at the Farmers Co-op. Mm -hmm. It was, uh, I was going to high school and I had some friends here in Dayton. There was, uh, there was some anti-Semitism in those days. Mm -hmm. So I used to fight a lot. After a while I got a little bigger than some of the guys. So well, that, that, they you know, that was, uh, one but, uh, I just want to interrupt and say that when I, left the house at five years old, my mother had two words to say to me when I left the, I got out the door. Don't fight. Don't fight. Well, see, I was guilty of the same thing with my kids. Yeah, but the kids used to harass her, some of them. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so, we, when our son grew, when our son was in school, he was also, uh, he came home one time, uh, very put out on what's the matter. He was out on a 
one of the kids who was choosing sides was says he's not going to have a Jewish kid on his team. Mm -hmm. So I went to see, uh, what was the principal? Gordon Poinsett. Gordon Poinsett. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we could smooth it out. Gordon had a good idea. He said we ought to start a, uh, a Cub Scout pack and have that kid join our, our, uh, our, our uh, uh, He was in my den. The, the, the den. same boy. I suppose, I don't know if we should mention his know name, but you know him. Well, we won't mention it. Yeah. Then he anyway, won't have to edit it. <laughs> okay, so he, yeah, so so he, he joined our den. He joined and, our, my uh, den. And I, and I realized why he felt the way he is. His parents were very 